Hey everyone, Matt Pisarsik from RazorEmporium.com. Today we're going to be doing a showdown with the Razor Rock Game Changer Safety Razor. Let's get started. Okay, we are all lathered up with my go-to for our 2019 videos, the Sandalwood Shaving Scent from Taylor of Old Bond Street. Classic, one of my favorites. Um, underneath there, we have our pre-shave product, Parasso. This is uh, one of the classics from Italy, and uh, I always find that it helps to increase the volume and the density of my lather and also add a little bit of uh, protection for my skin, which we're going to need today because I have got four days of growth. And normally I'm an every other day shaver, but it's been a, it's been a week, um, crazy week. So I, I'm saving it all up for you guys. Uh, and we're getting loaded up here with um, the Game Changer. So as you guys know, I'm going to show you, if you are new to the channel, this is great. If you're a veteran of the channel, you're probably sick of me saying this. With a three-piece razor, it's always safest to load um, it like this. You're going to have your head in your hand, the cap I should say, you're going to put on your blade and then load on your guard, sandwich them all together and thread your handle. And if you did it right, you are rewarded with a good assembly. So this is the game changer from Razor Rock and we're going to give it a shot. Let's get started. Very nice. Now I've heard some, um, you know, the reason this razor came to us is I had been hearing some good things about it and uh, a customer actually reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to borrow it for a review and I said, yeah, send it in. Um, and I'm glad you did because this is a great razor. Now the reason it's called the Game Changer is because Joe from Razor Rock, or Italian Barber, same company, uh, has been really changing up the game. You know, the stainless steel market is dominated by a lot of high-end razors, um, us included, but the Rex Ambassador. And this is kind of an offering that really changes it up. And how does he do that? Because this is the .68 uh, guard for its, for its blade gap and I believe this goes for like 50 or 60 dollars it's it's very very uh, affordable other three-piece razors in the same price point or the same you know market of stainless steel are going 120 150 almost 200 dollars sometimes even more for some of the real premium ones and the way he's doing that is he has uh, I think he's either has purchased the machinery to make the razors himself or has contracted with a company to kind of get access to the machinery at a really good price. And I'm sure you guys can let me know in the comments below which one it is. Um, so, but I'm really enjoying the shave. It's for this 0.68 blade guard, um, or blade gap I should say, it's really reminding me of a Gillette Tech razor, kind of that Goldilocks of not too close and not too mild. It, I would say it's a great razor to get started with if you want to you know, start in on your path of double edge shaving. This would be a great one. Now I know they have other base plates uh, other guards, I should say, that are more aggressive, and perhaps I think there's an 8.4. Perhaps that would be uh, more of my cup of tea. I like them, you know, medium to medium aggressive. 
uh, just because, especially around my goatee area, my, my beard is very thick and coarse, and so I'm having to go over it a couple times to really mow down the stubble. But it's very comfortable, very well designed razor. Now this is, um, it's advertised as 316 stainless steel for the material. So that's great for corrosion resistance. Definitely to be something that you're going to um, be able to have for a long time if you take care of it. It's milled, it's not cast for its construction. We just did a review a couple weeks ago of the um, Edwin Jagger 316. And that's at $116 US, so I think, or $119. Um, so, you know, two, almost two and a half times the price is this. And we talked about how that was molded. This is milled. So different, different kind of technique. Other kind of cool thing about this is it's individually uh, serial numbered. Which I'm a big fan of. You know, we do that on the Ambassador. Um, that's an old world thing to do. You know, Gillette is the, kind of the grandfather of us all in the, in the Razor arena. And they did that on their first 20, 30 years of history. They were all serial numbered. And they got away from that. Just kind of relathering here, my lower neck. You know, I sit here and talk with you guys and... Um, it takes longer to shave like this than it does at home, so sometimes under these spotlights in the camera studio here, I, my, my lather dries up a little bit. And it's, I always say this, but um, this is not the most ideal shaving situation for me. I, I love taking a nice long hot shower, washing my face with a little face wash, and you know, then getting out of the shower and shaving, so my, my beard is really soft and prepared. Here I'm, I'm at work, I'm out you know, in the workshop, and I come up here to the video studio and splash a little bit of water in my face, and it's time to go, which is why a pre-shave product is really, really important. But yeah, I'm very impressed with this razor. Um, I think he's hit it out of the ballpark. I think there's, there's a good reason he called it the game changer. I commend, I commend him. And you know what? That's honestly the way the market needs to go. Um, it's kind of like DVD players or Blu-ray players. You know, it's like I remember working. I was working for Sony years ago as a product rep when the first Blu-ray players uh, made their way on the market. I remember a Blu-ray player was $1,000 or $1,200 for a Blu-ray player, and it was, it was insane at the time. And then they came down in price. And you know what? Um, I think the way that the wet shaving market is going, it's also good that there's companies like Razor Rock that are kind of changing the game and driving the price down. Because ultimately, our goal whether as wet shavers, as retailers, as manufacturers, should be the growth of the wet shaving movement. More and more people getting into it. Uh, and one great way for that to be possible is if the price uh, of the barrier to entry, as you would say in business terms, um, is less. And a good quality razor at $50, $60, I mean, he's competing with Mercur now, or Edwin Jagger that are selling uh, chrome-plated zinc razors um, at $50, $60. So the fact that it's a stainless steel made in Canada um, razor in the same price point I think is great. Um, ultimately, I'm a capitalist and I, I think the competition's a great thing. And you know who wins? You, the consumer. You win. You get better products at a better price and you have people competing for your business. Um, that's good. So that is all I have to say about today's shave. Very satisfactory, great all around shave. Not the closest in the whole wide world, but again, this is the 0.6 
uh, 8 plate in terms of its blade gap. Um, if I had the .84, I bet I would love it even more. I bet it'd be a little more aggressive. But for a one pass shave, cold water, with the grain, it feels great. No nicks, no irritation. I'm happy, I'm a happy camper. Um, that's all we got for today's video. Game changer from Razor Rock. It comes in this cool little leather sleeve here, a little accessory. So very impressed overall. Um, if you enjoyed the video today, please leave a comment. Have you tried the Game Changer? Have you tried another stainless steel razor? What do you think? What do you think about the way the market needs to go? And leave me a comment below. And if you do leave a comment, you are entered in to win this, the official Soapy Razor Emporium Black and Blue t-shirt behold in all of its glory. Um, all you gotta do is leave a comment and you're entered in to win a shirt. So we really enjoy making these videos for you guys. Thanks so much for checking it out. Please like this video, share it with your friends, your entire network of social media you know, circles around you. Um, subscribe to our channel, hit that bell to notify you every time we put out a new video. And thank you for coming to Razor Emporium for all things vintage shaving. We'll see you next time, guys.